Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we are going to talk about quality of service and how we implement it using PCRF and PCF. My name is Sanjay Kumar and I am from Lanizu Global. Lanizu Global is a leading telecom, IT and cloud training company. If you are watching this video on our LinkedIn or Facebook page, you will be able to get the link of the video in the first comment. However, if you are watching our video on our YouTube channel, request you to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as press the bell icon to get the early notification for all our new videos. If you wish to stay connected with us, you can connect to me on LinkedIn. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as we have a community on Telegram which is a Telegram group where we discuss a lot of topics related to 5G, cloud and related technologies. You can can you can join this group by using the links given in the description box now before we get started let us try to understand what is quality of service qos quality of service typically people get confused with something called as service quality let us try to outline the difference between service quality and quality of service Service quality is some requirement for a given service, which is, you know, the typical performance of that service. Like, for example, the service can be voice, service can be IMS signaling, services can be some kind of real time or non real time traffic. Now, if we know all these services comes with the different type of performance requirements. And how do we really manage all those performance requirements in a network by prioritizing or controlling the traffic so that we can ensure the performance of all these critical applications? Because our networks always have limited network capacities and we have to fit all the available application into the given network capacity. So we have to control the traffic and prioritize the traffic to meet the performance requirement of some of the application. What are the benefits? It enables organizations or the companies to manage their overall network traffic by prioritizing specific high performance application. Just to take an example, the IMS signaling, which is typically required for voice kind of traffic, we need to have highest priority. But when it comes to some background emails, some kind of file transfer protocol, we can give them limit, you know, little lower kind of priorities, right? So we need to define all these priorities and all these priorities are defined by some kind of values in 4G, which is called as QCI, QS class identifier. And in 5G, we call this as 5QI, 5G QS identifier. Now, let us try to understand what, uh, what is QS and how we were managing it before PCRF. Let us have a look at 2G and 3G network architecture. And if you see in this picture, you don't see PCRF in 2G and 3G network architecture. However, there is a misconception that PCRF got started in 4G network, which is not true. PCRF was introduced when we started with 3G networks, but many of the operators have not implemented it. Now, let us try to understand how we were managing quality of service when PCRF was not present in 2G and 3G network. Let us have a look at the communication between HLR and SGSN. Now, whenever a user whether it is a 2G user or a 3G user, try to connect to the network, especially the packet switching services, the radio access network, which is either GE RAN, GSM edge radio access network, or UTRAN has to connect to SGSN. SGSN was the entry node for the packet switching network and in turn SGSN has to check subscription profile details from HLR. In turn, HLR will send the 
subscriber profile to SGSN along with the quality of service detail for the user. Now in this HLR, in the subscription profile of HLR, we will have the subscribed quality of service. Now what happens at this stage? SGSN is based on this QS profile. SGSN is going to send a request to GGSN. Is going to send a request to GGSN in the GTPC message. And in that GTP message, it will also, you know, send the requested QS of the user to the GGSN. Now based on the availability of the resources, GGSN will take a call and give a response message with the final quality of service. So basically there was a quality of service mechanism even before PCRF, but it was used mostly statically with the support of HLR coming as a subscription profile, subscribed quality of service profile. And then final decision was taken care by GGSM. However, that was the time when we were talking about data rate of few kbps to mbps maybe tens of mbps now as we proceed further we will see that the data rate requirements are getting bigger and bigger and we are talking about hundreds of mbps and 1 gbps and in that kind of scenario having a static kind of management of quality of service is not going to work and that is where we have introduced we introduced pcrf and that has become an integral part of our future network now before we move forward with that let us have a look let us have a look at the quality of service profile which is coming from hlr to sgsn sgsn to ggsn so this is a message going from sgsn to ggsn in gtp protocol gtpc protocol which also includes the quality of service quality of service profile for the user for this particular ms istn so basically this qs profile is fetched from hlr coming to sgsn and then finally sgsn is sending it to ggsn in return ggsn will communicate the approved quality of service it does two function policy control as well as charging rules policy now let us understand the pcrf functionality in this picture now whenever a user trying to attach to the network or creating a session for that matter it typically sends a request to e node b and e node b sends that request to mme mme speaks to hss for the authentication and other details. But once the authentication is completed, it typically has to create something called as default pairer. During this communication, it also gets the subscribed quality of service. The QS profile of the user, it fetches from the HSS because HSS is always in the, your home network and it typically contains your subscribed quality of service. So it fetches the quality of service profile from HSS. At this stage, MME sends a request to SGW for creating a session. SGW sends that request or forward that request to PGW and in turn, PGW will communicate with the PCRF policy and charging rule function. However, as I mentioned earlier, PCRF does two function policy control and charging rules. And in this picture, in this video, we are going to talk about only the policy part of it. However, PCRF also need to fetch all these details from a data repository, which is typically called as SPR or subscriber profile repository. It fetches that data from SPR and based on that, it gives a response to PGW. PGW also have an inbuilt functionality, which is called as PCEF, policy and charging enforcement function, and that it will use to enforce the policy rules, the quality of service policy rules to the user traffic. Once this part is completed, the PGW is going to send a res session response to HEW. HEW is going to send this to MME, 
MME is going to send this to E node B and E node B is going to send this to user. And with that, we will be having a GTP tunnel created on between E node B and HTW. Now, every time, whenever you want to create a session or default session, default bearer or dedicated bearer, you need to have certain different kind of quality of service. All these things are defined in the 3GBP documents. And for that, you can refer to something called as QCI table, the QCI table, the typical QCIs and their priorities. This interface, which is written as S7 here, was initially defined as GX interface between GGSN and PCRF. However, in 4G, we call this S7 interface. So the communication between PGW and PCRF, which is called as S7 interface, is typically based on diameter kind of protocol. And in future, this diameter protocol will get obsolete. And instead of that, we will start using HTTP kind of protocol in 5G. Now, PCRF, as I mentioned earlier, does two functions. And these two functions are related to charging and related to quality of service management. So typically, charging messages, which are like CCR messages, credit control request messages, and the quality of service messages, which are typically, you know, IP can messages, IP can service creation, IP can service modification, and IP, IP can service termination. If you want to see some of these messages in diameter protocols, so you can see these diameter messages in Wireshark traces. And in this, you can see credit control request messages, credit, credit control answer messages the way we have seen in the previous credit control request and credit control update and credit control answer kind of messages what we see bit in the PCRF architecture. However, when we moved from 4G to 5G core, we typically moved from the network element kind of architecture to VNF kind of architecture. Now, what does that mean? Typically, we need to limit the number of hardware in our 4G network because our networks were hardware based. And because of that, we have combined the functionality of policy control and charging rules into one unit, which is typically called as PCRF. However, now our network functions are virtualized network function or cloud native network function that enables us to disaggregate the functionality into different nodes. And now you see, we have only one node, which is the name, which is named as PCF, but there will be another node, which is not shown in this picture is called as CHF. So basically we have broken down PCF and CHF functionality into two parts where PCF takes care of policy management and CHF takes care of charging man management. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to talk much about the charging here, I'm mainly going to talk about the policy management itself. Now in this scenario, whenever a user is sending a session request to AMF, AMF passes it on to SMF. Now, SMF is going to communicate to PCF, is going to communicate to PCF, and the PCF is in turn going to speak to another repository which is not shown in this picture called as UDR unified data repository which is used as a data repository for multiple information which we'll discuss at a later stage in some other videos but it fetches all the policies about the user passes on this policy to SMF and based on these policies the SMF is going to create some kind of PDRs, packet detection rules, and impose those rules to the UPF, communicate those rules to UPF so that UPF can impose those rules on the user traffic, which is flowing via UPF. However, there is a difference here. In case of 4G, the MME have no communication. The MME have no interaction towards PCRF. Now, because now we are in the open kind of architecture, which is typically referred as service based architecture, which I have, you know, covered in detail in some of my previous videos. Now, EMF can also talk to PCRF, uh, sorry, PCF to fetch policies related to AM 
एक्सेस मैनेजमेंट एंड एम एम मोबिलिटी मैनेजमेंट एंड एस एम एफ कैन टॉक टू पी सी एफ फॉर सेशन मैनेजमेंट पॉलिसीज सो बोथ ए एम एफ एंड एस एम एफ कैन कम्युनिकेट विद पी सी आर एफ ए एम एफ विच इज लाइक एम एम ई इन फोर जी एस एम एफ विच इज लाइक पी जी डब्ल्यू कंट्रोल प्लेन बोथ ऑफ दैम कैन कम्युनिकेट टू पी सी एफ फॉर फैचिंग रेस्पेक्टिव पॉलिसीज फॉर ए एम 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 ए एम एक्सेस मैनेजमेंट मोबिलिटी मैनेजमेंट एंड एस एम एफ कैन डू दस सो जस्ट टू समराइज ए एम एफ विल बी कम्युनिकेटिंग टू पी सी एफ फॉर एक्सेसिंग एक्सेस मैनेजमेंट एंड मोबिलिटी मैनेजमेंट पॉलिसीज एंड एस एम एफ विल बी कम्युनिकेटिंग टू पी सी एफ फॉर सेशन मैनेजमेंट पॉलिसीज ऑल दीज सर्विस अवेलेबल वाया ए सर्विस बेस इंटरफेस इंटरफेस विच इज कॉल्ड एज एन पी सी एफ नाउ इन दिस पिक्चर वट यू कैन सी इज द कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम एस एम एफ टू पी सी एफ बट बिफोर एस एम एफ कम्युनिकेट्स टू पी सी आर एफ इट हैज टू डिस्कवर द पी सी आर पी सी एफ डिटेल्स फ्रॉम द एन आर एफ वाया सम गेट मैसेज टू एन एन एफ विच इज एन आर एफ विच इज टिपिकली एन एफ रिपोजिटरी फंक्शन वे टारगेट एम एफ इज पी सी एफ एंड द रिक्वेस्टर एन एफ इज एस एन एफ वंस इट गेट्स द डिटेल ऑफ पी सी एफ फ्रॉम एन आर एफ इट इज टिपिकली गोइंग टू सेंड ए एन पी मैसेज टू पी सी एफ बाई यूजिंग ए सर्विस प्रोवाइडेड बाई पी सी एफ इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड वट आर द टिपिकल सर्विसेज विच आर प्रोवाइडेड बाई पी सी एफ यू कैन रेफर टू द डॉक्यूमेंट थ्री जी बी पी टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिकेशन डॉक्यूमेंट विच इज ट्वेंटी थ्री डॉट फाइव जीरो टू वेयर यू कैन ऑल सी ऑल द सर्विस प्रोवाइडेड बाई पी सी एफ इन दिस पिक्चर वी हैव लिस्टेड सम ऑफ द सर्विस ऑफ पी सी एफ विच इज रिलेटेड टू ए एम पॉलिसी कंट्रोल पॉलिसी ऑथराइजेशन एस एम पॉलिसी कंट्रोल सो जस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द ए एम पॉलिसी कंट्रोल सर्विस विल बी एक्सेस्ड बाई द कंज्यूमर ऑफ दिस सर्विस विल बी ए एम एफ and the smf sm policy control which is which is session management policy control the consumer of this will be smf that's all what we have in this video i hope you enjoyed it and able to understand some basic concepts about pcrf and pcf if you want if you like this video request you to subscribe to our youtube channel and share it with your friends and colleagues that's all in this video thank you very much and see you in the next video